What's up, Boston? It is Championship Sunday, and we got a banger of a matchup coming to the stage. To get this winner's finals kicked off, the first team coming out, we'll see if they have the foresight and knowledge to get past this cosmic threat. It's them boys from the north, the Vikings. qualifiers but the players to watch have to be Bant and Cammy. those are the two players that have been lighting it up all weekend and are going to continue to do so on main stage blaze let's bring out the other team yeah minnesota rocker is looking solid but this other team looking to break the curse and make history once again get ready for the boys in red because here comes the heat from atlanta hundred racks hundred racks have been my safe I've been dreaming of pulling up in that rave. Check the stats. I ain't got too much to say. I got Gucci on my belt, but my pants sag. Wouldn't be surprised if my biggest hater made a fan page. You taking notice from your boss. You man-made. Grown that Yeah, touch. Up out of handshake. Don't think you hear me right. Let me clear my throat. <clears> hundred <throat> racks. Hundred racks have been my safe. I've been dreaming of pulling up in that rave. Check the stats. I ain't got too much to say. Defeated so far here at Major 2. Are these guys cursed? This is for a spot in the final. They have to get through the Minnesota Rocker. They faced defeat against this team a couple of weeks ago. It's going to be a tough one, but the search is looking on point. The tiny tears have been frying. Let's get it started, Blaze. We got two undefeated teams on the stage. Boston, y'all ready to get Sunday started? Now I got two undefeated casters for you. It's Merck and Maven. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Uh, FaZe, for the past couple of years, yeah, I heard them talk about it on the desk, just been falling short. I know Vanguard was a wild year, but for me, it's sort of like you look so good on Saturday at times. Sunday, it's, it's just like the brain goes out the window sometimes. Like they just aren't playing the way you know that they can. Do they ham it up here? I, I mean, you would think so after what, what we saw yesterday, right? Beating Ultra in that fashion, 3-0. I mean, that was, I would probably say, the most dominant match that I think we've seen. Their, their peak is over. over. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. But then on the other side for Minnesota Rocker, they had a, they had a big 3-0, right? You have Cami and Bance. They have beaten this Atlanta phase team before. You know, so this is uh, it should be a, a good match, you would hope. What do you what do you highlight? Is it going to be the control, the search, the hard point? Like what's the big thing within this series? Uh, I think both teams have kind of different objectives. For me, I think we saw the map set. That control is huge for Minnesota Rocker. Both of the squads are undefeated in search and destroy this weekend. For Atlanta phase, I'm kind of looking at their hard point, their respawn. Slasher talked about it on that stage. If their respawn levels up even just a little bit, I don't think anyone's beating them. Yeah, and it was interesting for me, like when you looked at Rocker and the three searches they played, two have been Embassy, they've been so good, but you gotta ban that here because FaZe yeah. is just insane when it comes to that particular map. So you have to get that out. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is just, 
Uh, for, for like Rocker, I'm just pumped for those guys. When you think about the fact that, you know, the team change comes in from Ultra, you, know, you gotta be smiling a little bit already if you're Cammy and Vance, I would think. But look at Vance, man. He has been unbelievable. Last time you saw him on Hotel, 27 and 12, minute and a half to go in the hard point. Uh, I believe we're gonna have a reset. I believe we had an issue with one of the PCs, but we'll, we'll get back into this as quickly as we can is the players will have another couple moments here to prep before we get into the map one. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta think about it, right? This Rocker team, you know, maybe some teams going up against FaZe, I, I don't know, you know, a little little nerves here and there, I'm sure. But for this team, you just 3-0'd Atlanta FaZe a couple of weeks ago. You have Cami and Bands who have beaten them in, in finals before. Well, They're playing this way. It is difficult to beat them. We heard what Bands and Cami said after that win, though. It was like, that was our first time beating them in 12 years basically <laughs> it, it had been a long time so how probably important, since cold war how, yeah no it really had been like since cold war so how, how big is that you think just for the mental like to get that win and now head into this matchup is that a big deal i mean i think it's a yeah i think it's a big deal obviously the maps are a little bit different but i just think the way that both of them are playing this weekend is huge for their mental because i think coming into this it's always sort of the story around bands the way that he's playing but you can see right now, I mean, he is leading the tournament overall with a 1.39. He's bringing it in every single game mode. And then for Cami, I mean, this is a guy we talked about at a time is top five in the league, right? A superstar in that trajectory has gone down. Now, can he bring it back into that? Well, I guess, are you just wondering, like, Vance's numbers have been ridiculous this weekend. But this is one of those matchups when you're going against this sub duo in Atlanta phase. Like, can he keep that going? It's going to be tough to match those numbers. Well, when you talk about, like, the old Ultra team, that major 2-1, uh, their win, it was Bantu who led the way. So, yeah. like, I think he knows it. If he keeps this up, they can win this tournament. Just not easy to do. Benjamin Vance, doot, 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 doot. We'll see what he can do. I'm excited to see what he's going to bring to this particular matchup. But we're getting loaded back in here to the map one hard point phase. Rocker, who's going to set a date in the grand final here for major two? Rocker looking for some glory with this new lineup. Phase is just like, <laughs> can we close one out? Like, <laughs> it's been a weird, weird year and a half for them. No doubt about it. Both of these teams right around 50% in both of these hard points. So we'll see who is going to battle it out. Who's going to come out on top? I mean, both of them so strong in search and control. But right from the get go, Abizi going to open things up as he normally does. But eyes, big time. Going to be on Bance. And what he's going to be able to do, and the other part of that is going to be Afro. Like, they, they work in tandem, right? Like, that sub duo is going to be so, so important to this, but that's going to be four down to Slasher. That's going to light up the feed. He's able to get three as we hop over to Dylan Price in his rotation. We do have Afro who kind of had a bit of a split spawn here, right? You see number three. He's just got to be patient here. And that's it. Cammy and Bans are going to find some kills now. When does he want to activate or does he? The spawns down for FaZe are going to come in. Do they recognize that there's someone behind them at the moment? It looks like it's going to be on a BZ. Simp is holding down Des, but still trying to find Afro. This is tough for Afro, right? You're out of the play right now. You're waiting for your teammates. And now it's his time to shine. Afro. What is he gonna find? The contest is in the beach. He's like, what the heck? There's somebody here. Slasher does find one. Bans wins a big one on Celium. And maybe with that, Rocker can win this rotation. Yeah, that, that spawn, just the patience there from Afro. So, so massive. The attacks will get caught sprinting as he tries to soar on four, but you've got a contest on the point for now. But you got so his head just whip around and be like, what the hell? Well, the jig is up. And the trade comes through, and they do get a moment here of control on the point. I mean, I think handled pretty well for FaZe considering how badly that could have gone. Yeah, no, it could have got a lot worse there. Maybe you're hoping Afro finds maybe a multi-kill, but Stellium on three in a row was him and a BZ after Afro was able to give them a little bit of advantage, Minnesota. That finds those kills. And now on rotation, you have a big moment here, right? Where you can open this game up. You're going to have Simp, you're going to have a BZ. The Tiny Terror setting up inside a kitchen. You do have some presence here if you are Rocker, but they kind of know it's going to be a two-on-two -two to start. And uh, a BZ, I don't know, the oven blew up. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate team kill through. But I think that's one of the big things for FaZe. Like, sometimes in the hard points, they'd come out a little bit flat, right? They'd have to bring it back. They've been coming out hot a lot of these hard points this weekend. And a big part of it is a BZ continues to dance, finally going to drop. But that big open, the big opening you think maybe in the lead doesn't look like it's going to happen for now. Rocker into the point. They're fighting it tough. You got two in a row for Attach, for Afro. They're set up inside the point and making a difference. Yeah, I mean, that duo locks it down. Big ups to Attach and Afro. But here's that moment. Here is that moment. It is Bantz who wins a critical one-on-one. -on -one. 
Gonna allow this to be contested. He finds the tack off the ground. And well, keeping up a solid game here. And to be a back and forth battle as we see. But Afro with the moves, finding a multi kill on this rotation. Yeah, this desk is just not, a, not the most fun fight if uh... There's all the desks, so every yeah, every yeah. single thing <laughs> just, in this just map, the, dude. Just the heady everywhere in this map, it feels like. But now a lead change. Is Rocker God in front with the last couple of seconds there on the hard point, repositioning to the corner pocket. Continues to dance, continues to fry, but Cell there finally for the trade. They get him out of that position. And now FaZe trying to battle in behind Cellium's two picks. Yeah, again, who is it for Atlanta FaZe to find a multi-kill? to give his team control at Cellium. He did it at P2, he does it here at the Death Hill. You have a four-man push though, Cell Stim. They're gonna take down three, give them some breathing room, give them the lead. Not see how long they can hold this down. Is the trophy is up, so attached. Not gonna be able to hit there with the Simtex as he's just trying to pop and weave, trying to hit the cross of the Dolphin Dive, but not able to surge on through. But now comes the heavy hit. On through the front, we got three players here. Abizi though, through on the flank. That's gonna be too easy able to take down before he is traded out. How big will that multi-kill be? Not gonna prove to be crucial because the rocker, the entire team picks it up. You basically have a kill for every player on the squad. Now take a look at the minimap as the next hard point getting ready to pop and it's Cammy and some big fights. I mean, realistically, the question's gonna be who is gonna have a solid hold? Because throughout this game, it's an eight point game, another lead change comes in, but it has just been back and forth breaks. Sim to spawn kitchen. I think that's gonna mess things up for Rocker. Now you have FaZe come on through. Well, just no team can hold on. Yeah, I just don't think anyone's had like a really comfortable early setup. No, they right? certainly like, haven't. Like, like the, the trades have been pretty efficient for both sides on rotations. Like no one's been able to get this clear and comfortable setup to get a full 50-60. It's not been the case whatsoever. It's been a battle and a gauntlet just to get any breathing room in and around the point. But it's Rocker starting to open up the biggest lead they've seen throughout the course of this map one. What can they do with it? And Afro going off 15 and nine. Band still keeping it up, up to 12 and nine. But there is gonna be finally a very solid hold and the biggest lead of the game for Minnesota Rocker. They find this 10 seconds, they'll be up a full hill. On rotation, you're gonna have a BZ. Start to get in a play, attached with the AR, taking them down. The first player over there is gonna be Bant for Minnesota. Selium, he's gonna spawn opposite side of the map, try to cut off middle of the map, but he's gonna get taken down. And Bant is gonna win the first one. A chance here for Rocker to rotate all the way through. They find all the kills. That is gonna be what? Seven in a row for Rocker, and well, this hill goes in theirs. Yeah, Bance just won a massive one-on-one, -on -one, I think, towards the next hard point, and this is gonna set his team up to get comfortable. This is probably the best early setup we've seen, and you chained off the best hard point you've had thus far, so you gotta love that. The beeps continue for Cammy, and now going to Pants is gonna be Bance, 15 and 10 for him, four in a row, four attach, as they are firing in all cylinders across this mid-game stretch as they, the face players just getting cut down, sprinting, trying to find avenues to get through. Yeah, I mean, some of those big multi-kills they had earlier, now they're just not coming through. Instead, it's on the other side, and it's on some holds. It's a peasy, a nice gunfight win there to control middle of the map as we're going to head back towards that first hill. But it was so back and forth with the last couple of hills all over to Minnesota Rocker now with an 80 point lead. I mean, a lot of success we've seen in hardpoint for phase we've cast this week, and it hasn't been that break heavy style we watched for them for years. I mean, they've been ahead on the rotations. They've been able to get set up and hold this. Haven't had ample opportunity to do so. And that's thanks to the way that Rocker have been playing. But now we get back to mid. Cell's looking for number four. The snap's not going to be there. It's Cammy. It's able to put him down. Just matching it talent for talent on the other side of it. Back into the hard point, go Rocker. So what do you think you need to fix maybe on the face side? Or is it just all credit to the way Rocker are playing? Yeah, I think it's just early rotations that they were winning. It's those early holds. If Rocker can keep breaking, and this is a big moment, right? Because you have P2 spawns. Right, his Bance, Bance is able right, to find Bance. a triple. But if you find these 20 seconds here at P1, you're going to put a lot of pressure on Atlanta face to have to respond here. And that's the way it is looking to get it set up at P2. You have Cell there. Slasher's making sure they get a little bit of scrap time. Attach is going to spawn up. Watch that number two, and now number three and Afro start to work on over. Sim, Seldium, he's gonna, they have the, the first push on this side of the map. Well, Rocker right now, you're thinking you get one big break. You got a chance to really put this out of reach. This is a big upcoming moment here. So get to the second R point. Let's go to a listen in with Minnesota Rocker. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He's one more spot on me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make him big. Yeah, one big, one big, one Yeah, I'm on the right cross, Lillian. Not cross. I'm one shot, I'm one shot. They can push me out. I give him right. Yeah, no, I'm playing the right. Have your left. Slow one. Slasher, Slasher, Slasher. Yeah, Slasher was broken. Slasher was broken. Yeah, okay. Hold on me. Let's go. One more shot. One more shot. Broken the back stairs. Broken the back stairs. Your left side shop. Yep. Left side shop, Ben. Come on, turn it. Come on, turn it. Guys, come on. I don't know. They could be. Get caught. Get caught. Get caught. Get caught. It was big. It was big. Maybe weak. I need to connect straight away. They already connected. They already connected. I've got all the back. Do you have Yes. Trash. Okay. I can help them then. Connector, connector, nice shit. I'm on the ground. Connector, connector again. We can BZ. Two caught, two caught. Come on, connector, BZ. The slash is dark. Dark, dark, dark. We're dark. I got dark. Yeah. Don't miss the back. What's the back? Listen. Two, 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 two. One back door, one door. We're nothing front, nothing front. Nice. 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 Let's go new, go new, go new. We can win off this. Go bet, go bet, go bet. Lobby I'm rapping. Go bet. Who will look for a slasher and sell? I think they hit, they hit. Better, better, easy. I'm going to top, I'm going to wind. I'm going to top long, can you give me a second? Wind it up, wind it up. We're looking for a slasher and sell, okay? Yeah, yeah, or mid, or couches. I'm just going to wind back right. I'm just going to wind back right. It's sell, it's sell and slasher, okay? Okay, I'm just going to wind back right. Just to check it. You heard them talk about who we looking for. They were looking for Slasher. He was the one that was able to leak in from behind as he find the play. There's going to be the pick. Now, how crucial is that going to be? He was missing throughout those comms. Yeah, I mean, a nice hold there at P2 for phase. And then a bit of a, you know, back and forth battle inside a kitchen. But find a BZ cell in Slasher with Slasher's play with that spawn. We now have Atlanta phase only 15 seconds away from tying things up, maybe taking the lead. It felt kind of similar to that moment with Afro earlier, right? Like, what are you going to get out of that? And FaZe were able to respond pretty quickly to dealing with that player. Not going to be the case here. FaZe are capitalizing, and now they've gone out in front as they hit the 200-point mark. Yeah, FaZe, they have gotten those holds. They did a really good job at P2 to just make things messy. But now a chance here for Minnesota Rocker. He gets get set up inside a restaurant. Sim trying to do what he can on the other side of the map. And Slasher finds a good timing on Afro to set up this pinch. He's got to take his time. Maybe knows he's going to be getting hunted, and that's going to be the play from Vance. Trying to find him, not going to. So now, man advantage over to Atlanta Phase on this first push. Did they find the opening now? They're getting cut down. Sim's able to get one. That's tr quickly traded. Now on five in a row. It's Slasher just taking his time for the boys to rally behind him. He's by himself. Oh, up easy. Got a really good spawn. Is Rocker going to recognize this? It looks like Tammy knows. Looks like Tammy knows. Nice read by Tammy. Afro and attacks right behind him. That's seven in a, in a row. Another lead change looming. Rocker now back out in front. Can they continue to hold as everything comes to a standstill? The picks are there for him. Easy heaps. Find him. And now Afro right They can afford. And Afro goes huge. They can win here. Him. They can lock it down. They get every second. This map one is done. And Rocker takes the 1 0 edge. Abizi continues to find picks to try and get towards the point, but who's going to follow it up? Afro, next up the bat. Slasher is there, the trade is in, the time is there. Cell just gets onto the point. You can't close it out, but now you gotta race across the They should the have match. it here, they should have it. I don't think anyone can get there. Nobody gonna get there in time. Rocker, take the map one. Just a tremendous hold there at the end. I yeah. mean. You, you kind of said early in the game, there weren't a lot of like those full holes, right? It was pretty scrappy, pretty messy. But Rocker, when they need to dial it in and get those, what, 45 plus second type holds, they were able to do it. I mean, the comms were pristine. They had it locked down. Yeah, I mean, just a very balanced effort. Uh, really from both of these teams, right? Shows in the scoreboard, but uh, that, that key hold. And I think Cammy found that one player. I think a BZ spawn behind them, Jewel. He was able to recognize that. That's the communication. Then you had the big hold. I think it was Afro and Attach who found four, right? Because Abizi opened things up with a, a double kill, and you're thinking, this is a break, but it, it turns out. Well, I, I think they took like three or four cracks at it. Like every time, I feel like Abizi was getting one or two to sort of start that first domino, but they always stepped it up. They always stepped it up and held. Yeah, and I think Rocker just give them props, because on the, that first rotation, like those first three hills, I think FaZe could have opened it up gave themselves a lead. Instead, it was the other way. It was Rocker with the 80-point lead, then FaZe had to, had to fight on back, and they did.
Well, if it was like the break in the kitchen, I mean, they might have been up like 100, right? Like early 100%. Game. That could have been the huge lead, but Rocker held on. They didn't get flustered. The comms stayed calm as they always do with this team. They're able to clutch on up. Yeah, it's just like a game of like three moments, like where it, Rocker had to be perfect and they were able to do that. And that's the separation you need. But that's, I mean, to base his side, that's where some of the struggles have come. It's, it's been in the hard point, right? But if you're Rocker and you think about how good you have been in search and destroy, how good you've been in control, your number one control team in the game, you're feeling really good just getting started off right. But I think either of these teams, I, I, it feels like a series that should go four or five. They just, they just have the map pool. They have everything it takes across the modes. Yeah, I think you saw here why both of these teams are right around like 50 to 60% in, in hard point, right? Still both. You know, great teams, but some mistakes on both sides, right? They, that they have to fix some things, but this is really the key now. Search and destroy. You're in phases wheelhouse, right? You had to get Embassy out, but now to a CeeLo search and destroy. I think they're 7 and 1, 7 and 2, right around there, where the other side from Minnesota Rocker, they have not had a lot of success on this map. It, it, it felt like, you know, when you heard the Rocker comms, sort of like a slow down, slow down, just take our time. There was like a little stint there where we saw it from like the Rocker POV, but like it, it just felt like FaZe just sprinting into deaths. Like they got flustered at like a midway point in that game where they were just getting cut down, trying to scramble across the map, maybe not taking their time and grouping up the way you'd want to, and it ends up costing them. Well, we had a big question mark, right, with this SMG duo. And a lot of the time, I don't know if Vance was pulling out a third tack or if he was just picking it off the ground, but had a couple of key multi-kills as they lead the way. 29 for Apo, 28 for Vance. Yeah, no, and that was going to be one of the biggest things for me, for sure. Yeah, without question. Just what would this sub duo be able to do against, I think, what mostly considered the best sub duo of all time? When you talk about Sip and Abizi, and so far, so good, you hold your own. But now we get ready for Search and Destroy, and this is where, you know, teams have been lights out this weekend. I'm not sure what to expect here. I mean, this should be some fantastic search. Well, when you talk about Zip and Abizi, it's really that A bomb site on this map, right? Just sort of how they play in tandem. You typically have Celium on the balcony looking over them, and that's where their teamwork shines. We saw it yesterday. I'm sure Rocker was looking at VOD, sort of how can we play this? What what can we do maybe to mess with that setup? Do we go inside there? Or do we just go to that outer bomb site? That'll be the question. I was kind of hoping to see Embassy just based on how Rocker's been this weekend and how FaZe has been, yeah. but that, that one gets Peter out of it. So now, yeah, how are they going to be able to attack that A site? How are they going to deal with the pressure that you're going to get from FaZe? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just, I guess I hope like if FaZe bring this back, it is 1-1 one, because one, with how yesterday was. With a lot of 3-0s. Oh, yeah, yes, we're hoping yeah. some will we get a, Will we get a map four today? Please, dear God, let that be the case. Um, well, you will, at least for the final, right? That's the best true. Of <laughs> You're guaranteed to, right? You're guaranteed to. Um, if you're FaZe right now, like, what do you think you're talking through that map one? Is there anything, any key frustrations that you need to work on? Or sort of like, all right, boys, just stand it up for the search. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just sort of, it is what it is, right? Let's just focus up. They've been in this position before. I think you're just hoping those sort of thoughts maybe don't creep into their mind. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to kind of ask you. It's like, you know, we, we joke around with like, if you're in, a, in an S&D and you're 0-5, 0-6, 0-7 as a player, like you start to start to doubt yourselves. You're a Seattle Surge with that skid they've had in search and destroy. You start to question yourselves with the the third places, the second places, like it's got to be in phases of mind a little bit. Like, ah, oh, not let it slip away another Sunday, are we? It has to be. There's no, they're human. It has to be. Yeah, there you see. So it was seven maps solo. They played five and two for Atlanta phase, one and four for Minnesota Rocker. Really all about those first floods. For both of these squads, who is going to lead the way? It's going to be Atlanta phase starting on attack. Get right back to it. This stun will slow down the push here for a moment. First, the pounce is going to be Afro. I'm going to take that fight, get the BZ out of it. That's a big one, but the other side of the tiny tear is simply there for the trade. And Cell, who you highlighted, loves to play from up top. Like, I just love the matchups you have in a lot of positions here. I mean, you talk about like Gunny, some of this is going to deal with Cell at times. Kami's one of those guys. Yeah, now Slasher going to take that position. Simp, I thought maybe trying to work the bomb plan, but he's actually going to go for an individual play. So he's going to go for it. He's going to win the gunfight right back into the site. We saw this man almost with a flawless map yesterday. It's the exact same map and mode. But Slasher's going to take it down. Now it's on Simp. Bomb planted one versus two. The big question, does he have dead? And he does. Yeah, it's like Slasher thought the angle was different. Like he was going to be able to get out of that, but... Time to make the play. All the pressure on him. He knows he has to check the bomb. Gammy on the other side, Hello. able to find one. Deddy reset as well, going for the ace. What a round this could be from Simp. Checks bomb, nobody home. 
repositions. Now attach, one of the most clutch players of all time. He's got to go. Time he's, dwindling. His daddy is up as well, just runs out. This should be it for Simp. This should be it, and that's going to be the round win in the one versus two. Is he going to find the kill? That is the question. Ace in the round number one. I mean, it all starts with the trade on a BC. <laughs> And then the rest follows Sip, one of the greatest to ever do it. Just a sip of water, calm and collected, keep it rolling. And, and honestly, I mean, just talk about that mid-round play, right? Him and Slasher know they're in a two versus three. There's no deady up, and he's like, I'm going to just go for a play, right? I have the bomb. If I die here, sorry, Slasher, you're you probably screwed. You have to take some He wins that one-on-one -on -one versus Pants. There's no trade. The bomb gets played, and he's out. 4-0, the ace for Simp to start it off. And Tash is like, I just wanted to find a gunfight, but just couldn't, couldn't find it before time. No longer a factor. Now, this is another position you were talking about. They can be so, so difficult to deal with. This time, Selium's going to get the upper hand of that one-on-one -on -one fight first cami. Uh, BZ able to take down Bands. Big four-on-two edge here early. Afro able to recoup the bomb. We're just switching positions, jumping around. There's a double chow. There's the double chow. It's easy, quick though, with the trade. Now it's a one on three. Get to play his life. I'll tell you what, that was close to not being a trade. He doesn't get that. Suddenly you're doing a two v two. Things could have gotten a little bit nuts, but you're able to recenter and take the fight if you are a BZ. I got a little bit worried when I didn't see the second player drop right away. What sell with two in the round? Yeah, I see how it went out exactly, but I imagine him and Cammy are going to be taking those fights pretty frequently up top. Yeah, I think that one was actually outside, right, right, right around, it? yeah, towards the field side. But yeah, Cammy got him round number one. This time, Stellium able to get, uh, uh, you know, on the board with two. It's just clinical, out of Atlanta phase. Let's see where Deddy starts to make an appearance here for Afro. Here it is. And you see Slasher and Cell playing very deep in the back. They're worried about those flanks from the players with the SMGs. BZ and Simp just slowing things down. They're waiting for this, for someone to overstep with Deddy. Play with that confidence. So when you pop the Deddy, you get really nothing out of it. Just trying to yeah, play for like the overaggression, like you're saying, but nothing happens with it. So that'll be the Deddy burn there from Afro. They're both going now. Simp and BZ both with Deddy. Simp's going to get in. Is the nade going to connect? It does. There's that first blood. Is there a quick trade from a BZ? I didn't isn't. think there was enough damage there to finish it up with the nade, but I guess he hits two bullets or so. And it's enough to get the first blood. So now you get Simp out of it. That's a big one. Cammy once again. That fight up top he's able to take. Now it's going to be Cell. One versus four. No time to really work with. Great round here from Rocker. Yeah, they dealt with a BZ on the bomb. So it's not like a, a clutch opportunity here. You still have to plan it if you are selling him. Which makes things that much harder. 10 seconds left. He's wall banging everything where they might be setting up. Might as well shoot my gun. Well, he's going to find one. He's going to find another. There's just no time. And bomb's planted. Maybe there's something. My. Sal showing off a little bit. He had a few more seconds, a few more seconds maybe to get that planted. And that might be one of the more ludicrous, ludicrous rounds we've ever seen. I mean, I, I rarely call things done before they're done, but like there, it's like you saw 20 seconds on the clock, one before me, all right, not enough time to really do it, which ends up being the case, but he makes it something flashy. Ooh, my man's pre-firing everything, looking, yeah. looking like Sim out there, dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the watch party, Sim. Yeehaw. Ye Yeehaw. Five in a row now for Cell. This might be one big thing. He's at least able to carry that over. Sim now with the first blood. And they've been a team that's been terrific in capitalizing on the first bloods, one of the best in the league. Kind of have a one-on-one -on, -one on the field side. It's attached with Deddy, maybe trying to make a play. He's going to be ready for Cell's position. Bomb going down. It is planted, but Sim there with the second in the round. He is just so confident on this map. The way he's reading it and attached does get taken out. Trying to play on that island and the nade from Cell right after. So they know Cammy's position. He's so weak with 2 HP. Already on the defuse and I don't think he's going to get there in time. Phase back on the board. I think Cell got the cruise too in the midst of that. Oh yeah, yeah, just that first blood. <laughs> that neighbor just hit his pocket, huh? Yeah, right from the gunfight with attached, just right to it, right? Yeah, just yeah. right in the window. <laughs> so 
six in a row now for Sell. Yeah, has the cruise, as you said. Now it's just a question of how does Rocker want to play this? I, I mean, really, the, the key was in their defensive round win. Afro got that first blood, and then I think Vance was able to find that follow-up. And they keep doing this. Tactical. Just something you see Sell do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peekaboo. Do you see that hair come up over the wall? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Bombadio down, four versus four, retake, and Abizi finds that first blood. And well, when Abizi's there, Simp not far behind, but the Nate connects onto Abizi, and now Simp just trying to play his life. Oh, I and somehow he, able to find one. I think he had to okay. been so weak, and then, yeah, he was weak, because then the team Nate takes him out. Yeah, he got hit by a trophy, it's and Nate. It's just a cluster bleep all around the site. 20 seconds to go, though. Two versus two. With a quick plant. Putting the pressure. On to Rocker to make the play. He's on the defuse. He's on it. He's going to hop off it. Tammy and attach. Able to clutch up. What a circus round. I mean, you had both of the players up top on the balcony. Just no one on the angle. And attach plays that beautifully. And they knew they could get off the bomb. Sort of bait to defuse. It was a scary start. But they bounce back. Oh, that's, that's a win and a half. And then it's all the hip fire connects as he pushes. Cami with the play. Finding the kills to close the round. And it feels like FaZe have had these chances to really push it out. Similar to the map one early on, just like get like a three round lead, get a little bit of comfort. But Rocker, they keep hanging around. Now a chance to tie this up. Yeah, and the question is, what do you do on an attack, right? Because they just have not found much success here. Spin the early kills, the first bloods. There's the info, just a stun from Abizi. Now look at this, look at Simp already working his way up with the Deddy play. Opens the door, trying to find one. Is able to oh, find okay. both of them. How? With the re-snap to give them the man advantage. Yeah, and that's not easy. You know, when you take shots no. from two players, you don't finish either. You start to panic a little bit. You're in between both of them. Yeah. The aim assist is going both yeah. ways. Yeah, the average player just starts freaking out. Like, oh, I choked, boys. But yeah, no, just keep able to keep it calm. And center when he needed to. They'll be in the 3v2, so you go two for one if you're set to set the boys up. Now when they close out the round, they're doing just that. Slasher, the first, flank on through, he will drop. And face just trying to keep this two-round separation as they move forward. And that's just literally one play. All that is is a BZ throwing a stun right in the pool tables. Gets that info, and Sim's like, okay, you stunned him? All right, I'm just going to pop that in, I'm going to go. I don't see anything out here. I'm going to just open this door up, see what happens. Yeah, just like the pillar makes it a little bit awkward, the doorway they can get through, but... I mean, I was, I was wondering if he was going to get one, honestly, after yeah, he took no, I a thought... couple of shots, yeah. Just, we, dude, we've all been there, that's so frustrating. Like, ah, oh, I just got away. Nine and three from Simp. Sitting a triple positive, having him a map. And just sort of the default here for FaZe, right? Just making sure nothing on the out outer parts of the map with Slasher and Cell, and then you're just relying on a BZ and Simp to find an opening into the A site. Maybe this time trying to work up top. You have Afro and Attach just kind of waiting there. Here's a streak. I was wondering when that was going to come into play. Choose it for the info. You catch Cammy, maybe. Amy Pants goes He's able to inside. dodge it. Not able to connect. Do they know Afro's in there? Okay, so they do. But it's a stun on both sides, but it's a BZ with the first blood. They've been doing that for uh, quite some time. Yeah. A little bait and switch there from Sepa to BZ. Now watch Slasher. He pops Deddy on the outer part of the map and maybe trying to work something to get to this player right here. Just baiting for this. That's going to be the play call attack. He almost reads it. Instead, it's Slasher who wins it, and now it's all on Cammy. And Cammy is gone. Fifth round on the board for FaZe. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're laughing it up. They're having fun. And this is just Not sort of the question, right? You want to deal with. with those vetoes, it's like, do you, do you play Embassy where you've seen success? Do you not? Because they're undefeated on it. Sort they've of just, a BZ's yeah. playground. They've just been unreal. Yeah, it's... Uh, but, I mean, you're seeing what they're doing to teams on this map now. Well, I mean, it feels like the first time in a long time that they're kind of back to their BS in search, right? Like, <laughs> I know there's been moments, but they're looking terrifying to battle against now. That is for sure. 
look at this aggression. They, they just took so much of the map away from Rocker. Simp and Abizi, they're going. They're trying to end this game right here. Abizi there for the trade, not able to find this second. Nice win from Afro. Yeah, if he gets both there, works out, but not able to do it. So you'll have numbers if you're a Rocker. Bomb going down now. You'll try to hold on to get your third round and slowly mount this comeback. But Celium just clean shots there as he gets out. Gets the Deddy reset as well. Off. Yeah, gets the Deddy reset in the two versus two. Slasher used it last run, so you're probably relying on Cell here to make the play. Sneaky, sneaky. I got some info while Big there has to reload. Can he center it again? He finds him! You absolute dork! One more player to go. On Afro, able to find three. Oh, Afro! With the ace in the round, with the Vaznev popping off. The play there from Afro. Woo! It's a close gun fight. He is tagged up, but wins it. Well, what do we learn from Cell here? Just shoot through everything. You, <laughs> might, you might as well just it's shoot a, through it all. It's the first time I've called a player a dork on broadcast, but <laughs> <laughs> he's got the angles, but you got to respect he it. He does. He does. Or not. Or he <laughs> don't yeah. have to. Or he just pisses you off. <laughs> oh. Still one more round needed for FaZe, but Afro, that type of moment, can that be the catalyst to bring you back in this search and destroy? They won't connect. They check the corner. They'll check, but Afro is ready and waiting. That'll be number five in a row. Now he's had a trophy as well, so that next stun, not going to help him out. Has the first blood, backs on down. <laughs> Where's Cell? He's going to start shooting through the wall. Here he comes. He's like, I got this, guys. I got this. We need to add another couch or <laughs> some, some extra fly. We need to reinforce this wall. <laughs> <laughs> Buy some more supplies, please. He's still looking for it. But Afro, repositions, you cannot take me down. This is my room. It's a kangaroo in the form of Selium. Get out of here. But Afro does not care. Number seven, Cruz earned Slasher. He's going Last for back-to-back -back aces. Does he get that? Does he get that? I don't know who got the final kill, but that could be eight in a row for Afro. We'll see here. No, it's attached. Attach, you thief. He's looking for back-to-back -back aces. I don't know how many times we've seen that. Dude. Here we go. Now pressure on. Like FaZe just utterly in control, and you blink your eyes, and Afro happens. 5-4. Taking over. I mean, he's on 7th Street. He was 3-7 and seven to this point. And then it was like, nah, we're not going out like this. Cell will not wall bang me, I promise <laughs> yeah. you. It's my life mission. About to toss him in that dumpster. Hello. <laughs> yeah, call right him <laughs> he's got to use it right away. At least that's what he's thinking about, right? Oh, I thought he was thinking about where he wanted to throw a cell. <laughs> no, no. But he's going to use a cruise, yeah. Oh, okay. That makes more sense in the scheme of things, Joe. Can't find anything? Nope. Not going to happen. Cruise used from either side. Some information, maybe, but no pick in the form of the streak. Here, maybe we have that one-on-one. -on -one. Sim's able to find the first blood, though. He was sneaking inside the uh -oh, entire time, uh -oh. and then there's Abizi. The tiny tears once again. Hey, Afro's still alive. You're not wrong. Don't count him out yet. Can Bance get him one? Afro's good for three or four. No, he's not. He's gone. Afro just gets rinsed. Sim's able to take him out. Bance now for the ace of the 1v3. The, the, good, old, the good old trophy Hardy player. Hardy Got to hike it across, not going to get there in time. The defuse is through, and FaZe will tie us up, and we're seeing a map four. Let's go, crowd. We got a map hey. four. We're all excited about that. Unbelievable. I mean, that was a fun search, though. Just, <laughs> I mean, some absolutely insane stuff from Cell's wall banks to the, the two hits you were seeing out of Abizi and Sip and Aggression they were playing with to Afro's miraculous plays. That was uh, that was truly something special. That was a whole hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, Simp with uh, 11 in the round or in the map, Cell with 10, yet Afro with 10, as you were saying. But it's all about those first bloods, the advantage over to Atlanta Phase. Uh, yeah, we take a look at it. I think what they had, I think six of them, six to four, so they had had an advantage there, and well, that ends up being the score line. So uh, the first bloods there. Yeah, you didn't have a whole lot of 
like crazy clutches or come from behind. Well, Sam, rounds. Really, it's really the sim round. Yeah, that, that's uh, about it. For the most part, though, it was just sort of like who got numbers. They sort of played behind it. I mean, there weren't a lot of like throws or anything. Some crazy. Just trying to see it. Just sort of the the tandem between Sip and Abizi, the way they worked at A site, and the couple of rounds that you won. It was just sort of Afro clutching up or finding that it, the advantage. Well, now we get ready for a control, and that's where what Rocker, I mean, statistically has been the best team in the league. Uh, the respawns, Especially on this map. The respawns have been, uh, you know, uh, up and down a little bit for FaZe, but I think when they were when they were really lights out and dominant, like in the midst of their sort of dominance, I mean, it came down to a couple of things. It was really like, I mean, Harpoon was okay. It was just search was lights out, control was lights out. What's well, really control? Just look at your major winners the last couple of years. Circle map number three, it has been the key. It absolutely has been the key. Coming up next, don't go anywhere. An absolutely electric map two leads into the control. Who would take the edge to one of the series? Rocker, phase, map three, up next after the break.
The Call of Duty League is presented by the GMC Hummer EV Pickup, the world's first all-electric super truck. Upgrade your game with a Scuf, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. The weekend is all about the trophy. Everybody battling for a chance to take this home mm. for Major 2. It's been a celebration, a festivity here in Boston, but the blood is boiling today. Look at that trophy. It's a beautiful one. Oh, it really is. Oh, well, it's, 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 it's awesome. Now it's gone. Um, but now, uh, I mean, that was a really, really fun search and destroy. Just, just had, I, I, I listen. You search, called someone a dork, Maven. Yes, I did. Yeah. Search is, uh, I mean, it's always been a great mode, but you know, you have some that are sort of one-sided, or even if it goes like around 11, like none of the rounds are really crazy. That just had like its fun moments, right? Like that was just a good time for search. But now to control. Um, I mean, you said it for years. Like, it is just for you what you've circled. If someone's winning a tournament, you better be solid in control. And it's weird because it's like, I'm going to just say that. I mean, if you look at the stats, it's it's either undefeated, maybe one loss to the team that wins the major. But you see right there on this map, 7 and 0 is Minnesota Rocker. They're one of the best control teams well, in the game, if not the best. And it's even, all about their defense. Even though you get to play two searches, two hard points, you know, like it, the veto process, you know, one's your pick, one's the other team pick control. It's like, you better be good in several controls, like, right? <laughs> you don't have as much of a choice or wiggle room when it comes to that. But then we go. And it's been all defense for Minnesota Rocker, what, 87% win rate? With, it was 7-0, and I mean, that is just ridiculous when you think about it. And Cammy, he has been clutch on this map. He has like a 1.2 KD right around there. So look out for Cammy, maybe to step it up. He didn't, he didn't like his stat line from map no, map number one. Uh, that was a nice teamwork though. That was a nice stun off spawn from somebody just to funnel Vans back into Slasher so he could get the pick. But you're still looking for that opening onto the point. So far, pretty even trade when it comes to lives, but... Now they'll get onto it, they'll stop the clock for now, 55 seconds left. That doesn't last long because Vance able to sneak through with the pick. Yeah, Afro's all the way behind right now with that Deddy Pops. He might have a free kill, then pick up attack. That's what's going to happen. Simp now trying to stay alive. But they all have to worry about Afro behind him. And then Cami off his of spawn, able to find that first, just trying to finesse play his life, and Afro continues on the other side. That uh -oh. duo shutting it down. Hey, Cami, this little bunny hop there puts him to bed. You just want to stop the clock if you can. Slasher's trying to do just that, but Attach is set up at Dylan Towers, and he's hitting the beams across. There's been no opening. You've moved the live advantage up to five now. A nice win from Bance to clear them off the point. Now spawning on the other side, you win one in mid if you were sell, you're able to get up to the point, but this is probably the moment where you've really got a shot here. And I think really good defensive teams on this map. Really what it's about, it's that transition, right? From A to B, B to A. Because after you get three or four dead, you're spawning the opponents near that point. So that's where they're going to go. But you can just see how flawless Rocker are playing on those transitions. They are giving phase no numbers. They don't even have a tick through round number one. And you can see why this is their best control. I mean, that was unreal. I mean, you set a round like that where you don't get a tick on a map where their defense or their defense in general has been so good. You set yourself in a pretty good position to get a defense if this were to go to a round five. I mean, that is just clinical. Yeah, just those transition periods. I mean, that's when things can get messy for defenses. Didn't happen there at all. And it's just like the, I mean, it's a teamwork thing, obviously, but the decision making and the, the speed at which it happens, right? Like, you just got to have that's the sort pace. of how you want to retake it, right? You sort of set ground rules. This is where we want to go. This is what we want to control. Do we have nades, stuns, sort of what's that play call? But that's just all down to practice. Yeah, I think that's just a sign of good teamwork and comps, though. Like, when you're able to deal with those types of situations so, so well. Able to avoid the nade is simp down low after he gets the opening kill. But can you find any more success here? If you're a rocker on offense, it won't take much to capitalize on the amazing defense, but a BZ One HP, dear God, just bounces around the corner and sends him to an early grave. Sip not able to find anything really on the other side. You're stacked up and waiting for the next push if you're a rocker, and now they start to funnel out. Yeah, Afro up to 8-5, continues his great series that we've seen from him. Slasher, we saw attach here in this position. Attached though, is going to take him down. It's attached towers, as you said. Yeah, no, he, when he gets locked up up there, he has been difficult to deal with. It'll be Cammy now rotating over into that spot. 
trying to look over him. First bit of progress is done. So you've already found more success here on offense than you allow FaZe to do in the round one. What more are you able to do? Second bit of progress is done. A continuing to move. Now starting to push through both sides of it, but as Selium looks the other way, maybe expecting his teammate to win it on one side. It's not gonna be the case. Now they just started to pounce out. Simp, Slasher, Cell here for the kills. Bance though, still tucked away with the contest and he's gonna get guns. So you clear this for now, you get just under 40 seconds to go. You've done some damage, you don't need a lot more, but where do you go if you're Rocker now? Yeah, with how messy that was though, with Bance staying alive. Look at the position attaches in, right? That first player rotating over to B, already taken down. So you have some map position if you are Minnesota Rocker, but the ARs, they're gonna find three. Afro trying to do his best to stay alive. Yeah, anything he can do, any kills he can find, plus staying alive would be massive. But you think the hit's gonna come back to A, because they only need one bit of progress, and that's gonna be the push. So Afro's able to transition all the way across. Unfortunately, Simp up over his head with the hip fire, able to take the kill. They're finding the rest of them. 15 seconds left to go. It might be a nice defensive hold from FaZe, but we're not done yet. Yeah, you still have two takes at A. They can try to extend this. Only a three life advantage, so nothing crazy. And we've seen it on LSE though. I mean, you see it all the time in control. Just one, three, four dead for that offensive team. And they can win the round. So they're gonna get that. They're gonna have that minute extension. And now you have a couple of kills going your way as Rocker's starting to get pushed up. Yeah, because if you're a BZ, you know, you kind of look like he was thinking, I'm popping daddy, I'm making a play here. I'm shutting this down. But he gets caught. You lose another player. Rise the transition period's about to happen. Now, what can you do behind it? You said number eight on the map. Selium's really worried about maybe somebody pushing the entire way through. Not going to be the case right now. So you're going to have numbers, at least in the push through mid. If you're Rocker currently, now Trophy out to the point, not able to snap back in time, Simp being a tear once again. Yeah, Cell was able to spot Bance. Yeah, Bance was he, trying to find a couple of kills off his of spawn. He's been holding that for a while, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe, you know, worried about an AR, didn't talk cliff side, finding those angles. That is just a tough shot. Yeah, that, that gunfight did not look fun whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, you just see the tip of the helmet. That's really it. So now 20 seconds left. You at least have the three tick advantage, you know, moving forward. Phase do win this round out, but one more push. Attach, gonna start it off as Afro. And Attach gonna find three. There's only one player left, it's him. That's gonna be four dead. Here we go, here's that moment. Trophy down for Cami as well. The nades, Stack it. you hear them. One trophy is gone, so the rest of the nades can go. hit. Here we go, it's moving quickly. Halfway to the second point of progress. Missiles flying in. Slasher finding the kills. Attached trying to dance. He will drop. Cammy gonna be the last one. Hey, he is nowhere close. So that'll close out the round, but you almost had that wild moment where you're able to pick it up. I mean, we saw that, what, multiple times yesterday with like optics, like just those last second, last second captures. But I mean, based on my defense right now, I'm feeling pretty good. We got enough done on offense if I'm Rocker. Well, and you already have the Cruise missile come out if you are them, right? I mean, if that's that, true, if, just forcing that out. Yeah. If that doesn't come out, I, I don't know. Maybe they do win that round. They sort of have to scramble. You saw it happen. So uh, a big piece of utility for FaZe gone. I mean, a couple times, I just feel like Sim, Sim's multi-kills really kept them in that. Like, there were a couple times where they lost a few players. He was able to get two in a quick quick period. Otherwise, Rocker, I mean, I feel like you had a lot of chances to capitalize. It was real close to getting done. Rocker had been sensational thus far in the map three. Now, can they be lights out on defense again? Or maybe what adjustments do you make of your face? There we go. It, again, I think it's just making it a little bit more messy for, for Rocker. Just finding a couple of more kills. And I think one of the keys there is usually a BZ, right? And when he's winning those close range engagements, when he's getting inside, as the defense is trying to rotate over, that's gonna be the key man, but already much better here, eight oh. points secured. And you see a BZ six and 15, you're probably feeling like the timings might be a little bit off, like something, something yep. out of sync at least early, and we'll see if he can make those adjustments. But yeah, this is a much better start for the phase side, but locking him in once again, like a vice, it'll be rocker to slow them down the onslaught towards B. Step though, try and inch forward. Bance, just a weasel tucked away in the corner. Slasher gets a kill with a stun. See you later, Cammy. These are those gunfights. There we go. BZ able to win that. Lots you gotta be teams. reactionary, right? You're jumping out. Someone's tucked away. Just gotta hit the snap. There's some more info. There's only Afro over there. And Afro's actually able to take down two. So big plays from him. Now, if you are a BZ, if you are a slasher, you're just trying to hold that 50 yard line, not give up too much map control. Daddy out, another one of those fights. Just snap a doodle doo around the edge. 
Yovana's second kill on the tail end of that. Tucked away is going to be Cami though, towards the B point and on the flank. The backside of it is attached, so they're just delaying this more and more, but BZ starting to shred from six and 15. Now three in a row. Can he find anything else? Trying to work in tandem now with Slasher, but yet to find an opening really on to this B side. Not an easy gunfight. That's Afro with a fast step as well. And honestly, big props to Attach, because he's 14 and six. He was the one player up top. He was the player on that flank. He finds that kill. And you kind of saw what happened right before B. You had all four players from phase sort of, what do we want to do here? How do we want to get onto the point? They just couldn't make a decision. Well, and it's because of Attach. His ability to stay alive. He's 16 and six. Now he has the cruise as well. Yeah, I feel like he really has a feel for the flow of the map currently. I'm not sure how much more you got to throw at this. I mean, you're not back that many lives, but time. They just can't find him. They just cannot find him. He is wasting so much time. This time, though, Cell. Able to take him down. But Afro puts him right back to spawn. Bant's involved as well. Is anybody really going to get there? It's a BZ with a chance to do so. But that will close it out once again. The defense strong. And this time you see a little bit different from Rocker. You know, they give up the first point pretty early on. It's a long defensive stand they've got to do. And they never really felt a whole lot of pressure around the objective, right? Like, never really got into it was a lot one of those push. three, four down scenarios. Yeah, it was that one push, where, but Attach was behind them, right? And we saw from Abizi's point of view, he was in a, an initial gunfight with him. Just kind of lets him be. He's hoping his teammates off his spawn pick that up. They just never find him. And I mean, that's just big props to him because that pinch comes in, that shuts down their push at B. Yeah, that was really their best chance. They didn't really turn into much at all. So the stun goes out and they're flying right up the gut. Habisi with another ludicrous challenge around the edge as you're calling Deddy. Bans his hip fire. Thankfully for him, it is going to hit. I always feel like that happens. Like whether you're throwing a stun Ever? or calling in Deddy, like I don't know. I don't know what it is with the hip fire, but it's like 100 percent accurate. Yeah, I sure. swear to God. Like, that was a thing I swear, like Warzone the Gulag for a while, dude. Like you use any sort of tactical like hip fire just hit with an LMG across the map. Like, what the hell's going on here? There's something to it, Joe. Becomes no, no, magical. Four dead. Four dead for, for Atlanta phase, so. They're gonna just get onto this point, start to work A. First bit done. Second part cruising. Sims working around. Maybe you're waiting on him. There we go. He's gonna find the first one. Now the rest of the collapse is coming in. And they're gonna soar through, and similar to the first time, they were able to stop this right before it finished on the third part. But some good work done there from Rocker. Now we go to the other side of BZ, already ready and waiting as he's looming for the first push. Nice shots in the window, goes Cami, able to stay up. And that'll be two down. But still taking their time, trying to layer them out. I look at number eight, starting to lurk in behind. That's gonna be Selium. Similar to maybe what we saw attached to, but it gets picked up. Afro able to find the kill. Yeah, nice pick up there from Afro. Trying to get done with A, and I think they will. They already have someone on B to at least pause the time for now. Vance, though, with the help of Attach, gonna take down a BZ. Cami, though, all by his lonesome. Trying to just buy time. So now if you're Vance and attached, you're just trying, kind of holding this position, trying to find a kill or two. That's exactly what's happening. Sending it forward. Maybe looking for an opening again on the other side will be sent. Back in the whole way up to pick this up like we saw last time will be Cell. This time it's attached it to it again. Cell once again. Just worried about that deep push through, able to get the read and win the fight. It's been his job and he's been up to the task thus far. And now look how pushed up you are. If you are phased, you've gotten aggressive on the other side of it. You gotta win these key well, fights before you have a chance to get to it. Simp is still gonna be alive, down to four HP. Two will drop though. Selim is tracked back to get eyes over the objective. Rocker trying to pounce on in. There you had Gammy kind of fight. He's trying to find Simp. There we go, just finding those lurking players. Working up the map, 30 seconds left, only a three life advantage. But as you said, with that round number one, they should have defense secured, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean. Will, they, will it go there, though? Can they clutch it here? Certainly have a shot to. Clock will stop with 22 seconds. Sorion is a BZ to get one off of the point. Clock will continue to tumble. But now you win the fight if you are out for You've got two players in position. The reinforcements scrambling in from both sides. It's Simp inside on the POV, looking for the angle in. First bit of progress done. Head popped off through the fence. 
trying to chow the second. Door closed. Listen for the audio cue. He goes left. I snap left. We'll drop him. Now just over 10 seconds left to go. It looks like around five, but we'll see if they've got some magic. I mean, it looks a little bit better last time for Atlanta phase on their offense, right? They got A done quickly. It's just a question. How do they work B? You we also go. have to add another layer to that. You have the cruise missile on attached still, right? Some extra utility that Rocker have to work with. That's true. That's true. They've been holding on to it. Yeah, I guess it's one of those things where you got a little bit better after the first time. Can you get a... And we always know whether it's round third. 11s, round 5s, they, always, they, they feel a little bit different. You've Third seen lane. sort of the defense, what each team likes to do. You make those adjustments, but is it too much? Will Rocker's defense continue to stand tall or can FaZe find the opening? <laughs> And yeah, can you get the pressure to force a streak out early? Good luck with that one. Cammy gets up to the wall, Hetty just smokes it. Got a about trophy on him too. Got a trophy on him. There we go, though, with the tag. Yeah, that's nice gonna be shot. three dead. Okay. Last player, Afro, make it all four. So maybe a very early A zone complete. We'll see if Rocker goes for this one more time. I mean, they got this last time, but Rocker was so good still at the long hold. I think they're probably just going to give this up. Oh, maybe not with that pick. We'll see what Bantz wants to do. That's number four. Yo's on that pinch. It looks like they want to take a crack at this, but it's about to be done. You don't want to lose it. Yo, he's going for it. Position. Bantz able to get in. The trade is there. The point not quite done. So they're able to get in. Similar to what we saw FaZe do a couple of times. Just right before that final point is done. And that's all just that first kill. That's all that first kill. But you would looks like what a BCC are right back on A. A point going to be secured. It all comes down to this. You saw that little pop-up. Eight and one in round fives for Minnesota. You have to just imagine it's a lot of their defenses on this map. Can they do it again? And you found, I mean, not a ton of success here at all if you are phase. But again, can you get that streak out? Uh, Tash has been holding from early in the game. You found a that's flurry of dead. kills. That's going to be three dead. Still behind enemy lines. But Tash was able to make the play last time. It looks like the read that you're going to force out. This is exactly what you want. You get the streak out. You get it out early. Can be able to get a kill as well. They're all oh! trying to run away. It's going to hit. Now right back to it we go. Simp, five in a row. Simple drop, though. Second point of progress, not going to be done quite yet, but they are close. Selium still finding kills, and now Attach rallying back into position. Just a minute to go. But look, you have three white arrows looking for one player. It was Cami on the flank. He was able to find yep. one while that cruise was called in. And you can just see they're all looking for him. They're distracted, trying to find that player. Uh, Abizi so distracted, he blows himself up. Okay. That's pretty distracted, Joe. <laughs> I tell you what, yeah. It's like looking at the I'm light. Sick of looking for this guy, ending it. Looking at the light beaming off your bald head sometimes. <laughs> Here we go, though. You have Slasher all the way pushed up cliffside. They're not going to be ready for him, you would think. It looks like Afro's trying to find it. Bant's on the point, maybe to help him out. 30 seconds ago, you still have a life advantage if you are phased. Just not a ton of time. The clock working against you. Maybe the opening. There's the first Slasher behind enemy lines. They're trying to spot him. Oh, oh, no! no! We've all been there. Sucks. The auto mantle, it's gonna end up costing dead, the though. But can you find the rest of the kills? Oh, Somebody attach finds two! The double from attach will be massive. Simp just trying to get away from all the stuns. Now health back to full, 20 seconds to go. Oh, the ladder! Oh, timing! Yeah, you got the mantle, you got the ladder. What is with all these damn objects? Abizi wins one, under 10 seconds to go. Can't quite take out the second. Can they get to the point? Five seconds. Slasher's got to go. Everybody's scrambling, just has to get on. Able to get there, does get dropped, and Rocker! They hold on. It's the place from Rocker and the, the cliffside tree stump or whatever it was that ends up hurting you of your face. But that was their best attempt at it. But no, I mean, what it really, it was attached in the one round, getting behind enemy lines and wasting so much time. You nailed it with Cammy this time. Like, literally, he was being so annoying that it'd be easy, he needed himself.
And, and just the cruise. I mean, if the cruise isn't there, Cammy has to chow off of that, right? Like yeah. they, he probably gets team shot. Cell probably has a wall bang. Gets that kill. Maybe it's a three stack. You have a trophy down. Maybe the round's over, but the fact that Attach able to earn that cruise saves it for that round five. We talked about their defense. They win all three. Beautiful out of rocker. And now up two to one. One map away from our final. Oh, unbelievable. Can they get it done on the hard point, or do we do to go to a riveting game five? I mean, the game two was so good. I'm hoping for some more search and destroy in this series, but. Just looking through the stats, anything that pops off the page for you? I mean, Afro 30, I, I mean, that, this guy is just unbelievable, but I'm going to give some love to Attach. Like 26 and 18, he had the cruise in just that one defensive round, man. It, it, it was all him. And then even there, that that two, that multi-kill, he was able to pick up towards the cliff side, gets them off of that point. Sim's like, okay, well, I'm hoping my teammates can get to me at the end, but just not able to get there. I thought they had it for a moment. Just they got like two down. I saw where Slasher was positioned. I'm thinking, all right, they got a shot at this. Oh, I did the ladder. The ladder sent me. We've all been there playing MP, Warzone, DMZ, whatever you're playing. And suddenly you're trying to run around a corner. And you're climbing a ladder. It's like, ah, oh, sick. I don't know what it is. It's like your hands. They see a ladder, and it's just like I gotta I touch must, it. Yeah, I must. I must it. grab I this ladder. I must get on it. And all our attempts to make the game more fluid. It just gives me a headache, Joe. Let's get on that ladder. Ah. We're back in fourth battle, and now it's just a question of the respawns, right? You've lost both of them if you are phased. Can you get this to a game number five? And now, now I think being down 2-1, maybe mm. those thoughts looming a little bit if you're phased, like, oh, here we go again. But what? Another Sunday. I mean, they were down 2-1, first round of this tournament versus Boston. They lost an LSC low control in a round five. They've been here. It's just a question of, is Rocker 2 out right now? The way Afro's playing, what we saw from Attach and Banton map number one. We shall see, but we're going to Embassy. Well, as we get ready to go to Embassy, you know, just after what you saw on the map one, is it just, is that what your eyes are on still? Like that Bans Afro duo, what can they bring to this hard point? Ooh, I, I think I'm actually gonna look at the ARs a little bit more okay. because I, I think on a map like Embassy, yes, it's small, it's, you know, I think a question is that, that flex player, are you gonna see that third sub come out, that Vaznev? We've seen it from Selium, right? Especially that Kitchen Hill. It's always a question of when do you wanna kinda of pull that out? But a lot of the times it's those ARs and the angles they have, if you look at like a, a hill like P2, P3, that transition, so I'm going to look a lot at the ARs, the way they're playing. Can Rocker close it out or the phase push it to a game five? I mean, Rocker, this run has been awesome to watch. I mean, I, I think we were all excited for the roster when we first saw it. Like, it seems to have all the pieces. But, you know, I think some of us were sad to see that Ultra team break apart. It was one of my favorite teams of all time. And now you got to feel good. Your Bance, your Cami, you're making the run here. Maybe a chance to get a little revenge over a phase team that, you know, we were, we were talking about how, uh, what, it has been since how long, wait, it's, was it they never beat them on land, right? The, the Ultra team, because yeah, it never. was online during Cold War? Yeah. Well, I mean, you still feel like you're maybe a little bit a part of like that, those those woes, I guess, if you're- Yeah, they're thinking about so it, yeah. Maybe a chance to brush that off, kind of uh, get rid of one of the other curses. Yeah, this man on your screen, I mean, 1.3 overall. Incredible search out of him, but we just saw Afro stats. Just a question, can they slow him down? I just always wonder like how much those things are like in your head as a player, like whether you're struggling in a search or you know you've struggled on Sundays. Like I know people are some are men more mentally tough than others, but I don't know. I just feel like everybody's human and it's gonna creep in there, man. When you're struggling, there's been something you've been bashing your head against and it's just like it's a team that's still expected to win. Like I, every tournament they've still been one of the favorites. Like every time. I know last year it was they weren't on top and had the same dominance, they but they were, were still they were still one of the picks. They were still they were still in the hunt to maybe win yeah. it. And you just haven't been able to do it. And I'm sure Slasher, he's thinking, I came in to fix this thing. See if we can do it. But the map four, you hear the countdown. We're getting ready to rip and roar. The Embassy Hardpoint, we go. Do we get a map five or does it end here? Can a rocker shut it down? I think the mini after the phase win yesterday versus Ultra, I mean, you heard Slasher say, like, we're playing like that. I mean, it's what you saw though in Major One. I mean, Friday, Saturday, looked unbeatable. Sunday, not so much. Something about this matchup too, this rocker team is looks sensational. 
Will Afro lead the way or will beat the ARs as you were highlighting? Cammy going to be one of those big players to go nuts for this team. And so far, lighten up the feed, it'll be Rocker. All right, nice three dead, but we know how hard it is to earn some time here at P1 it's with that kill. Slasher, he's going to keep Minnesota Rocker off of it. So you have Cammy just sort of lurking, trying to make the rotation over to P2 a little bit earlier, but Abizi and Simp, they're going to come alive. So they find some kills off of spawn. And again, just Cammy, just those players, their ability to stay up. Have to force phase to look for him, and that's really been it. They have not been able to find Cammy. So he's having a magnificent start here. Finally, Slash are going to take him down 4 0. And now a little rally onto the point. It was a crazy first hard point all over the place. Ton of lead changes, so we have more of that in store for us. But you've only got 19 total points on the board. Through the first hard point, is it's a melee battle. Is it Mayweather? Sip just throwing out the punches, tries to chow them with 9 HP. That's not going to go well, but that's all right. He's on the other side of the map. His teammates are set up around the point and spawning out deep, though. It'll be Sim. We'll see what kind of opening he can find and transition across. Yeah, map, map number one, it was really the early holds for FaZe. They were just not successful at. Can they turn it around here? But the first break is already there for Rocker. Vance going to find a BZ, going to get right on that hill as Slasher waiting for his reinforcements to come off a of spawn. But FaZe do a nice job as Simp, he finds three in a row. I mean, yeah, he had a kill with the Vazdev with the tack. I mean, he's pulling out everything to get the wins. That'll be Debbie now for Bance. Nice win around the edge. Surprise, I don't have footsteps. <laughs> I mean, what, it was a 2 and 10, 3 and 11 start for that SMG duo. But already you have the early rotation over at the third hill. Is there a trophy there? There is. So Nade's not going to connect. Slasher just going to hang out in that corner, try to play his life, wait for his teammates to look over him. I mean, you get a nice hold here. It feels similar to the map one. The sense of like, Vazer opening up nice. You have a chance to get a really significant lead. His sip spot, not quite as tactical as maybe he thought. Because out Benjamin Vance with a no pants. Oh. Feeling it. Needs another bullet or two, maybe to take that one. But he plays Disruptor well. They're still in the point of fewer phase, but Vance definitely allowing his teammates to start to apply the pressure, and Abizi says, no, no, no. Not on my watch. Yeah, he's able to get that hill time. And you were right. I, I mean, you know, Bans just relieves some pressure, you would think. It gives him another opportunity to get on the hill. Simp on rotation almost uh, finds the third. Uh, nearly put him in a urinal over there. <laughs> Nobody wants to be put in a urinal. That does not sound like a good time. Simp, though, off his spawn again. He's already at 21 engagements. This man is just running at everything. He's still hot, feeling aggressive, and a BC also feeling it. I need a little bit of help here, Slasher. Can't quite get out of it. But Slasher will set up and hold. And now this is that point moment, right? Like it's 126. You've got this massive lead. This is the hard point. Like Rocker need to break to start to bring this back. But a BC is just breaking backs, dude. Picking him up with a you know, backbreaker over the knee type thing. Yeah, I know I would be a good WWE wrestler, huh? I don't know if a BZ could do that, though, especially no. to you. You're oh, a big God. boy. No, no, no. Find a way to break his own back with the nade early. 26 and 17, though, is this duo. The Tiny Terror is taking over. This is when they are so scary. Five in a row for a BZ, but as you said, there is no break here for Rocker. Both it's already a 110-point lead. Their POV is just like twisted. They are just like, running, <laughs> dude. Like, screw it. We're fighting. Let's fight. Oh, uh, they're sending it. The snaps have just been a thing of beauty. I mean, you just have, have put Rocker just on the back foot so quickly in this, and you are blowing the doors off this map four. But while Afro and the boys start to come alive, there's Afro, make a little bit of noise with the double. And finally, it's, oh, this is what we're here for? This is the objective. Hello. Yeah, Long Sal. lost friend. Sal pulls out that third, third sub on this hill. We've seen him online, what he can do with this. Well, of course, it's Zip and Abizi with three. It's Zip and Abizi with dude, four. Dude, like, they're just sprinting at them. Yeah, that's all they want to do. Lead. Again, another break. Yeah, as you said, lead 120. Yeah, just growing and growing moment by moment. 19 to 9 from the BZ. The Tiny Terrors on one within this game. 31 engagements now for Sim. They still rally across and try to pick it up, but there you go. Multi kill in through attach. And dance with a third. But it just feels like whenever like Rocker getting points, it's like 10. Like I, it's 10 points, and the next onslaught comes in from face. Yeah, it's not a lot. I mean, I think, you know, we know how this P1 goes. It's really a question of. 
you know, we transition to P2 and P3. Can you put those together? That would be the opportunity for Rocker to get right back into the game. But it's simply busy, just a little bit too hot right now as they're in the feed once again. Too hot to handle, Joe. Just gunfight win after gunfight win. It's like, what, what do you do at this point? It just seems like, you know, on a map like this, just when it's hot, it's just hard to slow it down. It's just hard to regain control of the map. It's like, you know, in the comms, it might be for Rocker a little bit like, slow it down. All right, guys, we're okay. But it's just like second by second, like, we're just, they, they, they just keep getting points. Five in a row now for a BZ. Well, it's also a giant square, the map. Well, not, yeah. not giant, a small square. So you're always fighting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just hard to like slow down and get control before it's already slipped away. It just seemed to happen so, so fast. But they're set up for the next hard point. Maybe if you're going to make a rally, this is where it's going to come. Yeah, He's got two players in position. You got Bance waiting to pounce. He should be able to get a freebie in the back. He will be able to do that. You chain together a couple of kills, and maybe this is the moment. Do you start to chip away at this lead if you're Rocker? Nice win. Now he's on four in a row, trying to slow down Simp. A big win onto him. Yeah, you've had no pressure here. No pressure at all, but Cell, all by his lonesome, trying to work that side of the map, but he's going to get cut down. They have the reads. This is what you needed. Four Minnesota Rockers. Bant's now the one, kind of slaying around the map. I mean, you're getting as many points on this hard point as you've had the rest of the game. I mean, this has been a thing of beauty from Rocker, but now can you turn it into more? Is this enough to give you a sign of life? The positioning there for Mavro, up to three in a row. He's trying to chow every which way, left, right, center, back, upside down, as he's getting pushed from just about everywhere. The lead, though, it's down to 80 now. We'll get back to where Abizi was making the plays, and you get the break in from Attach and Cami. As Cell tries to soften up the defense. Yeah, I mean, that's really it. You go with 20, 25 seconds left. You gifted the rotation over to Minnesota Rocker. Can you turn this into another break? You have three players pushing the top side of the map, trying to get across that catwalk. A BZ trying to get with his teammates. Pop steady. Can you find the initial one? Face in the lead right now. Can they get us to a map number five? Let's go to a listen in with Face. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. Nothing I grab an ally. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. I have it. I have it. Orange dead. Nice. Hey, 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 you want to sign? Sign. Sign. Attach. Sign right now. No one top office. Top office. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. All right. One top office. Look at that before him. See. I got in. Good come ladder. I'm standing in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Top bathroom. What's up? Above you. Top office is not peeking. Then you try to push out. Yeah, I'm pushing. Yeah, I'm jumping Xbox. I once once pocket uh, like I'll, side I'll, door. I'll, I'll, I'll pop around. Yeah, I'll pop around. Heard you, heard you. There's one side door right now, like uh, P4. P2 then. I don't see this top. I don't see any top office. I'm at the Two be chairs. Shot the house. I'm at the MC. Pocket, pocket, pocket. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. 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 I'm Hold me, watch that. Oh, I'm spawning in the back. I'm holding side door. I'm side door. I'm trying to go. They take their time and they're able to get in. They can close it out here. 15 points needed. 25 left on the hard point. The skirmish is going out around the point, but busting on through. One kill is a team kill. They line up for Cell, and they get cut down. Attach and Bance is trying to chest bump midair, but Cellian wants no part of it. It's looking, it's feeling like a map five, and it is. They win the map, phase, get it done. It's the early onslaught from Sippin' to BZ. It proves too strong. But I'll tell you what, you know, I think if you listen to past listen-ins with phase, very quick, very hectic. A little too hectic sometimes, yeah. That was much different. And maybe that's the presence of Slasher, something they've worked on in practice, just calming it down. Talking about, hey, where are we spawning? Where do we want to push from? Well, I think, a little bit of a different I think listen. sometimes with like Alec, um, like he was, he was a great leader, his comps were good, but he would he would sound a little panicked sometimes in those listen -ins. even maybe he wasn't. Like it's just how he came across, whereas 
I feel like Slasher just sort of seems like, I don't know, he just kind of has that chill demeanor about him. Well, and sometimes it's just sell. It's just that guy's just going on. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 miles per hour. Go work, dude. 100 miles per hour. But I, we love, love him. I love him. Yeah, he's, he is absolutely insane, and he has been a treat to watch over the years. But now we get to map five. The game two, if you missed it, was uh, it was a really, really fun search to destroy some unbelievable plays, and it's going to come down to this. Now, remember, this is a winner's bracket final, so you've still got a shot if you were to lose this, but you get to a final, and that is what the goal is. The trophy, the prestige, the trash talk, the money on the line. It's one map to decide who's going to get there already. It doesn't have to go through a bit of a gauntlet. And this is a map that they already played it in stage two qualifiers. So this is the one Rocker was able to win that map number two. So to phase, do they have the adjustments? Rocker, can they keep that rolling? Those are the questions that we ask heading into the map five. We're going to a quick break. When we get back, it all comes down to this search and destroy.
The Call of Duty League is presented by the GMC Hummer EV Pickup, the world's first all-electric super truck. Upgrade your game with the Scuf, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Hello, Boston. And the venue at home, the fight for the trophy continues on. We've got a big map five, winner of this. Headed to the grand final, waiting for a date with who the f knows. Who knows? This has been nuts. I mean, there seems to be so much talent all over the place. It's been an absolute blast. The crowd has been absurd. I'm loving it, Joe. I am too. Here we go. I mean, there you can see land performance. Days one through three, 17 and three, four and eight on Sunday. Obviously, a lot of those are still in the final. They're making it the distance, but you can just see what it has done. Yeah, I mean, you can say whatever you want with this graphic. Like, oh, well, they had harder competition in the final. Oh, well, maybe they weren't the dominant team they were in Vanguard. I mean, the, pro the, the thing is, like, they may not have been as dominant, but, like, this is one that was surprised me. They did look like lights out leading into this. Like, if yep. they were just crumble on Sunday, like, all right, dude, what are we talking about? Like, so something's going on. But if you are a rocker, you got to be feeling good. You get to your search and destroy map pick, you are four and one. You beat Atlanta phase on this map already just a couple of weeks ago. The first blood percent, only 46% for Minnesota Rocket, but here's the key, 90% conversion rate. What does that mean? When they get that first blood, they're winning 90% of rounds. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the lower ones, at least for phase. I saw like their average, I mean, we were talking yeah. yesterday, it was, like no, 100%. 60, it was around like 60%. They've been so, so good. A lot of that embassy, obviously they've been, they've been nuts, but. The yeah, embassy and Asila. There we go, Afro. Able to find the first one. Zabizi trying to get pushed up. Cell in this god spot, just trying to do what he can to find a pick. On the other side of the map, it's kind of a one-on-one -on -one sort of in the lurking. You have Cami, Slasher, maybe trying to find an opening. But it really just feels like they're trying to work this A site. Well, now we start to work the plant. Bob will get down and Sip just able to get away. He's hit down about half HP, trying to finesse, can't get out. So good job getting him picked. After the plane comes through, Cell finally able to make attach play. He got those shots in earlier in the round, couldn't quite finish it. This time gets it done, but it's all going to be on Cell. This would be for the ace. Now trying to pull off the 1v3, 25 seconds to go. They got to work this defuse, and that's not going to be an easy fight. Afro, who started things, he will end them. Defuse through for Rocker. Yeah, and I think if you're phased, you get the bomb down, you're either hoping Sim can stay alive or you're hoping Slasher finds one before he gets taken down. Cami was able to find him with that Vaznev. That makes it a one on three. If Slasher finds one, maybe he could play his life, right? Maybe give Cell a one on two, there's a chance. But with him going down, it's just impossible. Some of these heavies are just nuts. All over this map. <laughs> You feel like Cell's in, like, I mean, not the best spot, but, like, maybe a chance to make a, one of his nerdy little clutches, and then Afros hops up, says, no, nope, good luck with this fight. But Afro, the 2-0 start. I know they lost the game, too, but he was heroic in his effort in the search and destroy. You got to feel like that's enough to get him locked for this map five. He's feeling good about his search and destroy gameplay. Just trying to get across, takes a couple bullets, but he's able to do so. And now Selium's got to worry about his position. So it changes Cell's spot, but Simp's able to come through on the help. And now we see a continue of uh, what kind of the attacks for Cell fight that we saw on the other side of this. Yeah, so far so good for our defenses in those first bloods. Afro, he gets to that spot, is trying to make a deady play, just gets cut down. Patch trying to find that kill. Not able to connect. So now a two on four, very similar to what we saw last round. Oh, Cammy okay. I mean, just able to pick Slasher in the back. So now they've got a shot. You've got 30 seconds to go, but definitely a chance to make a play. Simp, though, just lying prone, ready and waiting. Now Cammy in the one versus three. I mean, pretty, pretty similar kind of what we saw for both teams, right? Like solid defense, somebody stuck in a 1v3. Not a lot to work with. Yeah, it's just kind of those, those playmakers, right? BZ trying to get pushed up. He gets cut down. This round it was Afro. Not able to find it, just the first bloods going their way. Yeah, so far both teams able to capitalize on those first bloods, and we'll try to try to keep an eye on kind of the defensive holds we've seen so far, where the first bloods trend as we get deeper into this map five. But it's Simp leading the way on one side, Afro and Cami on the other. Simple carry three in a row to this round. 
as he has a hell of a round two. And it's Deddy out now for a BZ as he goes hunting. This might be the right call. I might jump down to that one versus one, but Cammy backs away. I mean, you have the Deddy popped. Now it's going to be Sims' turn, and maybe a BZ's just sort of playing near that catwalk, maybe hoping to get all the way around bedroom side, and I think that's going to be it. Looks like he has gotten through, so what can he find? Simp with his Deddy. Not able to find much, and you are just waiting now. Just trying to cross that bomb, or waiting for this man to start the fight. Yeah, it's like we've got to our spots now. But our daddy's run out, so now we can't move. Yep, yep. When does the onslaught start? There's the first one. Abizi with the first blood. Apro's going to get picked. Nice patience and discipline there from Abizi. Trying to take this offensive round, but look at kind of sneaking up through the middle of the map. We got number four in Bance. Did he find an opening? Yeah, he's got Deddy. Slasher doesn't spot him. That's Bomb as well. If he kills Cell, that's Bomb down. That would put a huge delay on this, and I love this play from Bance. I love this. Now the pressure on. Cammy's going to find another one. So man advantage over to Minnesota Rocker. There was an opening. You talk about the setup. patience from BC. You got to love that from Bance. Now trying to get a plan, and once again, they'll get it down. But look at the swarm that you have around them. Not able to get out. Abizi's going to end up dropping. All on to Simp. Would look to be so good behind the first blood from BZ. Seemingly has fallen apart. Can Simp make the play? He's getting swarmed from every which way and will fall. Rocker taking the three versus four, and that's on Benjamin Benz. Yeah, just finding the timing, right? Slasher, he knows, right? He's, he's watching that, that top side of the map, but the middle of the map was open, and they're just kind of waiting on it, it seems, and finally they get some good position. They have bedroom control. But he found it. I, I don't know what the timing was like. It's like you either, you know, kind of get the insta pop with the, the daddy to try and make a player in the round, get position. Or you have that mid round where you're looking for this kind of this opening, this timing. And that's what you find if your bands are, are like used in like a crazy clutch at the end. But you saw some different uses out of it over the course of that game. And while it's Bance's impact, it ends up being the biggest. Then you sort of seeing the VOD prep coming in, right? Just knowing Cammy likes to play inside a kitchen. What does that mean? That catwalk is open. That's what a BZ is able to find that first blood. And maybe the same thing is being said with where a slasher plays on the map. So far, so good for the defenses. I'm already playing. Afro's already pushed up, plus a first blood. Slasher now 0-4. Now it's on a BC and Simp to try and clutch. The defenses are going to continue to take it. You still have Deddy if you're Simp, but not going to happen. Cammy will put him down. A chance for a two-round advantage. And in a difficult spot now is a BZ. Nothing you can do. You'll get dropped. Rocker continue to control things. I don't even know if they knew Afro was already in that spot up those stairs. Like, just... Minnesota, they knew exactly what they wanted to do, how they wanted to play it. They find those picks, able to get that bomb down. That's usually the difficult part, right? Getting that plant down. Well, it's like not only you went around last round, well, two rounds ago, after not getting the first blood, if you're a rocker, you're able to take an offensive round. But you're starting to turn the tides your way with a couple of these clutches. I like guess FaZe can be able to do the same thing. And now that pressure starting to mount on up. There you can see, though, Map 5 records, Atlanta 5 and 3, Rocker 2 and 1. Be a little bit of a different look. You're busy just trying to spot that cross. Bance though works his way up into the bar and Bance. Well, it's a Tatsu finds the first blood, but Bance might be able to make another play, and he does. Bance continuing to make the highlight plays. Now Slasher in trouble. Two players chopped down from FaZe, bombed down on the site, and it just feels like Rocker. They've got a better feel for this map as no another one it. will fall. I mean, they're just out playing them. Yeah, and the, that island play again. Cammy, a couple of defensive rounds, able to win it, but it's Bance right through the middle of the map, gets to that bar spot, waits for his teammates, waits for the help. Bomb planner gets taken down in a BZ, and then Bance is able to make the plays. And I'm not sure if there's something where it's like an adjustment needed by FaZe, or like Rocker is better at this map. Like, they've got it more figured out. They seem to be a hell of a lot more comfortable, whereas maybe a little slow in the decision-making sometimes here from FaZe. Yeah, and I mean, you're up a couple of rounds, they take a chance there, right? I mean, it's just the, the bands fly, just right up the middle, right up the gut. Well, Slasher, who came to this team to make the impact in Search and Destroy, and well, I mean, he's been terrific this weekend, not feeling it right now, 0-5. If there's somebody you think that has the mental toughness to brush it off, he's one of those guys. But he's got to turn it around, he's got to turn it around in a hurry. Maybe trying to get back to what we do best to just fly at it, but the help comes in the second the stun goes through, so you make sure of easy not able to get a multi-kill. 
Cell follows it up. Now Slasher. With the Deddy maybe looking for an opening, but you've got the numbers. This is one you've got to Ooh. take. If you are phase. The push comes in, just going to miss. Then that's going to be a hit marker. Maybe Simp don't go for that jump again. Right in the ankle. Not able to find the kill. One on three, attach. Is he going to read this? No. <laughs> He's peeking around for a minute, but Cell is laying prone and face. They get around. They so desperately needed. And that time, just that early sort of, I, I mean, rockers switch it up. They get aggressive. Over towards that B zone inside a restaurant, that B site. Well, it just just those early trades. Sort of just feels like Face sometimes are playing without as much information as they'd like, and maybe just sending a B Z flying like has been the case for them for so long. Just gets gets a lot of information at least. Just sort of like starts to solve the puzzle on the map. Just sort of let him fly at something, win or lose it. Get us that info. This is the problem though. Their offense is they have just found nothing. I mean, they tried the delayed push, they tried the deadly play, they tried the fast plant. Everything's been dealt with. Okay, but here you get a first blood. Simple find the opener. Now, what do you do from here? They chow around the corner, get the information there on Afro. The two man push. Oh boy. Nate's going to back him up for now. The reach out, though, as Afro's able to take it, and the follow up is not there. Cammy's here to help as well. Cammy's here to help. Did he sneak into this position? He does. That was a two on two, all down to Afro. What in the world? And where you've seen Seppa Dabizi be so, so good in those two man pushes, doesn't happen there. Afro deals with it. He's got Deddy to go, and there's going to be the Deddy pop. He's probably going to beat this bomb. He's going to have the info. This is a, a rotation over towards B. What the Vazinev? Got to be feeling pretty good. It's just, can he get there before this runs out? All right, so. now he's going to have to start crouching around. And he's going to have to slow things down. Afro, he's had some heroic moments and some wild clutches. Especially on this site. Can he go off here? One versus two for Afro. He's a lion prowling in the grasslands. Cell and Slasher just set up. Good luck with this one. Can he somehow do it? It's a dance off. Just dance part four. No, one already says. Oh, it might, it might. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Some damage in. Not able to take it yet. And still able to win it. But yeah, those uh, good, good luck. That's going to be tough. Did his best. I mean, you're just hoping your daddy gets you over towards the B zone. Maybe a, a better timing, but it just runs out. And then after that, the, the play is just so difficult. I mean, of course, FaZe has no idea which direction he's coming from, but in that two-man setup, in that two-man game. They needed an offense, able to get it. Oh, they must be showing the dancing maneuvers. Some people just don't love dancing here in Boston. Unbelievable. I don't think it's da dance. It's called snaking, yes. <laughs> and it is something. It is something. That is true. It's like, yeah, without like the slide cancel and some of the other mechanics, it's just, maybe it's been happening in the whole titles. But it's just oh, hello! More glaring. And this one is a beast. He goes out, trying to throw a softball. Gets clotheslined. Trades there, though, from Sim. Three versus three. Cammy's going to get dropped. Two versus two. Cruise missile earned for Cell. They know where Bance is, though. Look at Bance, able to work, work his way up catwalk. Just lurking around. I think he spots Sim. I think he does. He does. He's able to find a kill. So now down this cell, he was able to earn a cruise missile. So he has that six in a row, has Diddy to play with. We just saw this last round. It's going to be a little bit better for Cell. Can't find a kill. A team shot is in. Oh, Benjamin, you're making me feel some kind of way. Round number five up on the board for Rocker. One round away. Oh, it's attached. It actually gets at the end. I thought, I thought Bantz finished it off. We got one bullet in here if you're attached. That poor lamp just destroyed. Oh, yeah. They don't care about furniture at all in this league. Rocker, one more round. Slasher still in the hunt for his first kill. Just can't get him unlocked, right? I mean, it's tough sometimes watching that flank, being that island player. You're just getting nothing. You're so out of the fight over towards A. Have to make some adjustments. Can they find another offense? Vance trying to do it himself, trying to find an eight on his cell, not going to. On the other side, maybe just trying to isolate Cammy. I mean, He's simp. You win this offense, you got a shot. It's just where the struggles have been. 
That's a question. Do you use the cruise here, right? I mean, just sort of desperation move. Better, better to use it at some point than lose it not, I guess. See what they opt to do. Maybe try to save it for defense. Stun gonna go in. Abizi gonna give him the advantage. Oh, 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 oh. oh snap on advance. Got a little scary there for a moment as he uh, jumped onto his back, but Vance will fall attached, still tucked away. He just wants the info for top bedroom before he works this plan or feels more comfortable about it. Now works to get it down. 4v3. You can just see how tough it is as the bomb planner on this map. Afro tries to open the door. Simp is there. And well, Simp is still there. Sometimes in desperation mode, it feels like FaZe just lets him go. Trying to make those plays. Hey! Slasher's on the board. Slasher's on the board. I can't wait to see the kill came and somebody stole it. Just got a bullet in. Yeah, Slasher. He'll get the first kill, get up to one at six. And I mean, you get the offensive round win. Maybe a little frustration put away for Slasher. Now can you hold here on defense and get it to around 11? And you still have that cruise. When does that come into play? I mean, I think it's on defense. It's over towards the A bomb, right? You can't really use it over towards B. It's just a question of, can they get the trophy out? Uh, I mean, if you're sell, you're just going to try to play your life. Maybe if you see some presence over there, you can try to get them off of it. it. 100%, but they might not even rely on that. It looks like it's going to be a BZ right up the gut to find that oh, first no. blood, and he is out of there. Mayamo a BZ streaking as well. What does he find? Nada coming up empty, but a BZ continues his onslaught. As he gets two in the round, it's looking like around 11. We're not out of the woods yet, is attaching Cami. Still, maybe a chance to make a play, but they are split on the map. No real opening for a trade for either player, but Attach is able to find a pick on one side. That's a bit of information. Now you've got a one-on-one -on, -one on the other end. Dude, look at this timing, too, with Cami. I mean, he is just chilling, just hanging out, and Attach is just kind of waiting on him. That's sort of what you have to do. Cami with Deddy popped. He's just sort of looking. He's going to jump out. Okay. Abizi looking for the ace in the round. It did it to a round 11. Abizi just got the snapper locked and loaded. He spotted him. He spots him. He's hunting. He is hunting him right now. There's the heady. There's the help. And well, in desperation mode, they Woo! call upon Simp and Abizi <laughs> once again. Deep breath, everybody. Here we go. Simp on offense. Abizi on defense. Slasher with the last kill in both rounds. He's feeling much yeah, better. Yeah, he's turned, dude. Guy's on a heater. PR, PR. Oh boy, round 11 for a spot in the finals. Phase back on attack. Just a question of what do we have to work with? Can we look at our field upgrades if our observers can, can show us? Abisi, the only streak that matters. Four in a row for him. He's got the Deddy Pop, but the stuns and nades everywhere. It's simp with an opening. Maybe another one. Get some tags in. Not able to take it. The patience is there right now for Abizi as he's going to back up for now. And that's just Simp just taking the one-on-one -on -one opposite side of the map. I mean, he is just going for it. Screw it. I'm going to make it take it into my own hands. They were down five to three. They'd have to rip three straight here now to take it. Still not easy to get this bomb down. They're aligned. And a lot of different timings to go your way. You see Slasher starting to lurk his way on up. Abizi just trying to get that down. Attach is able to win it. He's going to back away with his life. He's going to back away. Now they don't know where Simp is. Bant is on the other side of the map. And he gets caught. Now is it a rotation over to B? What's the play call? And FaZe is just going to wait. They're going to wait. They are going to wait. And it's the right play call for Rocker. Uh, for Rocker, no. Rocker knows. He got the information. One on the cross. Oh, no. That's what going in. The daddy has popped. Oh, mamma mia. He, oh, hello. No, 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 no. Attach is going to drop. It's all going to be on the Afro now. One versus three. 40 to go. The child on the edge, able to win it. What is that gunfight? A bit ambitious. You're just going to back up if you're Simp in Cell. You have the bomb planted. Cell, I mean, he's really the key with that tack, with that AR. And you know what he's going to do in that position. Afro knows he has to go for the fight, hoping for some headshots, that multiplier to come through. But if FaZe done it, down 5-3. Are they back into another final? It's looking that way. These searches were something, man.
and had the heart pumping in the wild, wild moments, but FaZe back to a potential championship as they get to a final. The Rocker, man, you played them tough, and I swear, if Afro somehow just... <laughs> I think when he started taking those shots with the back step on his cell, I think it was, I was like, okay, all right, well, good luck. If he would have got that kill, imagine, but... Unbelievable stuff. What a series these two teams went toe for toe. Like, that was fun. And I mean, you just have to give your props to Siva to BZ. I know we we say it a lot. Down 5-3, they just took their turn. I, I mean, yeah. it's Simp in one round, then it's a BZ in the next round on defense, and then in that round 11, Simp, he just goes for it. He sends it. He says, I'm going to take this 50-50 well, if I win this. We got the man advantage and probably the map. See, I was wondering, you know, I said at one point, I can't tell if this is an adjustment thing for FaZe or if Rocker just had them outclassed here. But for me, it just, they let loose, right? Like, yep. they were playing it so patient, trying to play it tactical. It felt like Slasher wasn't really getting comfortable, didn't maybe have the information he wanted on the map. You know, you're just trying to unlock it like a puzzle, right? But as soon as, like, Simp and Abizia started hitting stuff and getting info, and when you're winning the fight, hell, even better. Wow. Yeah, 10 from Simp right there. He's got three first bloods, Abizi with four, but as you said, Rocker put up a hell of a fight in that series. That was a fun one, and, and maybe you see a rematch later on today, but there's still a couple of other teams who are trying to get there as well in Thieves and Optic. Yeah, for the search and destroys, I mean, that was the difference. Like, it, it's like three one, rounds, dude, six, four, six, five. It's, it's like one first blood. I mean, you had what? The advantage was six, four, and seven. Wait, what was it here? Yeah, I think that's Six, seven, four in the first, and maybe. 7-4 here, like you just need to get a bit of an edge with the search and destroy when it comes to the first blood. It's unbelievable, but yeah, you said that Simp uh, was unlocked. He was different, and we've got him on stage with Blaze. Uh, Simp, Blaze, take it away, guys. Thank you so much, Merkin Maven. Boston, give it up for Atlanta FaZe as they are your first team in the grand finals. And Simp, how, how does that feel, man, to be that first squad in the grand finals after the journey in which you've had here? Oh, I mean, it feels amazing. I mean, even just the way that match went, you know, I feel like we iced up, especially that game five. You know, we were down 3-5, I think, and I don't know. I feel like we were just making good plays together, and yeah. right now I'm just feeling great. And let's dive into it, because we definitely want to talk about that game five. It was a crazy series, and the pressure was on you guys after y'all lost that hard point. But you made it to the game five. You got there, but you're down 5-3, and you and your tiny tear duel, multiple first bloods. Talk to me about those last three rounds. Uh, I mean, the last three rounds, we were kind of just, you know, making play calls, trying to just change it up a little bit mm -hmm. to you know, kind of just get out of the habit that we were having yeah. that map, because I feel like most of that map, we were kind of playing to their game. Mm. And I feel like towards the end, we really kind of like realized what they were doing and just picked up on it. You got it. Now, you told me before you wasn't feeling too much like yourself before, but do you feel like you are that classic synth that the fans love? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm getting back to being there. You know, I feel like there's been, you know, a lot of chirps yeah. recently, but overall, I'm feeling good. I feel like as a team-wise, we're feeling on top of the world. Yeah. I feel like... Uh, our respawn wise going to this tournament wasn't the best, but you know, improved a lot. So, yep. feeling good. Definitely did. Any last words you want to say to the FaZe fans out here in the crowd and at home? Uh, you know, we appreciate you guys, all the FaZe fans, all the love. Even through the booze, you guys are amazing if you don't like us. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. That's going to do it for me and Simp on the stage. Chris, take us away. Thank you, Blaze, and congratulations to Atlanta FaZe. Another finals appearance, and a lot of people are wondering, is this the event the curse is lifted? Can they raise the gold at the end of this weekend? Well, we know something, Allie. There's now 120 racks up in that safe. <laughs> I love that song, by the way. Probably my favorite intro, but this was a series. Yeah. Like, I'm very happy that we didn't continue on from yesterday with the 3-0s on 3-0s on 3-0s. This was an incredible battle across the board. I would love to rewatch this. Series. We got to take a look at our bracket and show everyone where we're at now because Atlanta FaZe are officially the first team to lock in. A best of seven championship will close out the night here in Boston. The only remaining question is who is going to join them? Optic Texas LA Thieves get a chance to battle for their spot against the Rocker and then we'll find out who is moving on to the big dance at the end of the night. But to revisit this series, it came down to the search and destroys for me. We had a great start from Rocker. You took the opening hard point. 
Then, though, we see the comeback from FaZe. They never give up, and this is our final round of s and Oh, yeah. Once you get to this final round, it all started with Sim finding that first blood at that B site. Once he takes down Kami, you now force Baines to play over towards that position, and then when they catch him lacking right through the middle of the map, the two-piece child comes in, they take him down, and I thought it got scary. I thought it got out of hand right here because it was a free rotation over towards that B bomb, yeah. but they cut it back, and with Afro peeking right here and then attached dropping, it... A 1v3 is never going to be easy. We talk about COD timing. You have to think a half second later climbing that ladder, he's going to take down a BZ and then has the opportunity. But Afro lights out again in this series. Definitely a young gun to keep your eyes on. He is looking final here for Minnesota Rocker. But Selium, Slasher, Simp, a BZ. Moving on to another championship matchup, Nameless. Yeah, I mean, they look great in this series, honestly. It was a grueler. Rocker will have another opportunity down there in the lower bracket, but to talk about what FaZe did so well, man, and, and getting that victory and in that comeback and see adjustments that they made, and I want to give some love here to Simp, man. Yeah. I feel like we always talk about how good he is individually as a player, but the cerebral plays that he makes for this team, I feel like you know, they go unnoticed at times. The adjustment he made going over towards couches, playing his life, watching top rails, things like that. Like, the kid is a monster. And, you know, he was going off in the first search as well. If you're just joining us, this is another 2-4-5 victory. They went both search and destroys and one of the hard points towards the end of the match after falling early. Atlanta phase clutching up here. And we have our scuff.